happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. The weather today is absolutely disgusting. It's like 80 degrees and raining, which I think has to be my least favorite New York City weather. And I have no idea how to dress for this weather. It feels like the only appropriate thing to wear would be like a bathing suit. Anyway, I'm on my way to campus. I'm heading to my CAD class and yeah, I'll see you there. Class, we were asked to begin working on our mood boards for our textile collections. Last week I showed you the start of mine, which is inspired by bioluminescence. After getting some feedback, I continue to develop it, and it still needs some work and some empty spaces filled, but I think it's slowly getting there. I had the idea to incorporate some reflective yarn in my project, and one of my classmates happened to have some in her stash, so she very kindly brought it to class so I could take a look, cut some samples, and see if it could work out with my concept. Hello again, I just got out of my class and I got some food from the cafe downstairs, and now I'm gonna go do some sketches for my dashboard class. This is the start of my mood board for my tabletop class. Last week, you saw me change my concept and feel really unsure about myself, and this week, things are pretty much the same. I took inspiration from intertwining knots, knitwear, and weaving, and I really wanted to make something fun and maximalist. I was still trying to figure out exactly what that was gonna look like, so I kept sketching and brainstorming throughout the class and after school to hopefully find some inspiration. Good morning, happy super gloomy Wednesday. I don't have class until about two today, so I'm gonna spend the morning threading the loom, getting some work done, and hopefully it'll be a good day. So yeah, let's head to campus. One of my new semester's resolution was to stop going to Starbucks as much, and I've been pretty good about it, but they brought back the pumpkin spice latte, so I treated myself. Then I found an empty classroom to work in for a little bit. My goal was to do some practice painting to hopefully get a little bit closer to figuring out the look of my tableware collection. Around 10 o'clock, my friend Kelsey and I made a quick stop to Blick to get some of the things that we needed for class. Then the two of us worked together to thread our giant 24 harness Dobby loom. We have 10 of these looms in the classroom and around 20 students, so we were put into teams to get them all threaded. And when it's time to weave, we'll have free choice of any of the available looms. So even though we're working hard to thread this beige warp, you're gonna see me hop around to different looms with different colored warps throughout this project. And then it was time for our tabletop class. My professor brought in some really beautiful reference books, which helped me come up with some more potential collection ideas. After class, we stopped at the local deli for some dinner, and then we headed back to the weaving room to spend another two hours threading the loom. We That's did it. pretty, pretty beautiful. I know, I'm so proud of us. <laughs> Hello again, I just finished up in the weaving room and we conquered that warp, which feels so good. It's such a relief to have that done, so I'm definitely excited. Um, just gonna go home, finish up my CAD work, I gotta do that mood board, and hopefully call it a bit of an early night. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we'll see, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I actually wanna come back on here for a moment to tell you about something really funny that happened today. So when I was in my tablework class, I went out to go get a drink of water when I was coming back. One of the classes from the one year associates degree program was letting out, which is the program that I was in last year. And a whole group of girls came up to me and they were like, wait, you're Andrea, you make YouTube videos, right? And I was like, yeah. And they recognized me for my videos and they all watched them. And they were telling me that they were watching them to kind of like get ready for the one year program. 
and one girl even told me that she follows them every week and like waits for the weekly video to come out and that just like made my day like I can't even begin to express how happy that made me <laughs> we took this cute little video together and yeah that was just like such a highlight anyway that just like totally made my day so I wanted to share that and with that I will see you tomorrow Good morning, happy, beautiful, and sunny Thursday. So I am definitely one of those people that like habitually overpacks. Like, you know, when you're like going on a vacation for seven days, but you pack like 15 pairs of underwear just in case for like no real reason. <laughs> That's like me, especially when it comes to my art supplies. So I'm literally carrying so much stuff. Like my bags are so heavy because I just keep putting stuff in my bag. Like, oh, maybe I'll need this, maybe I'll need this. I don't need any of this. Why am I carrying it across the city? <laughs> anyway, I'm heading to my morning CAD class and then I have leaving today, so it should be a good day. In CAD, I presented my final mood board to the professor and she told me that she liked it, so that felt great. This is probably the wildest mood board I've made so far and I was definitely worried it'd be a little bit too much, but one of the reasons why I'm so excited for this class is because I love this professor and she always encourages me to just go all out. This is the same professor that I had for my screen printing class last semester with the bug and brooch project, so I'm really excited to develop another project with her guidance. I feel like she gets me, you know? Anyway, after showing her the mood board, we had the option to leave the computer lab and go to another room to paint some motifs for our collections. Last week, you saw me buy some black paper and neon paints, and I wanted to spend the class period exploring these totally new to me materials and just see what they could do. So I made some kind of ugly painted sketches, but they did teach me a lot about how these paints work. I don't necessarily feel like I made anything that I'm like super stoked about, but I do feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of these paints. So hopefully I can make something that I like soon. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna clean up all of this and then head to weaving. In weaving, we learned about designing fancy twills on the software called Point Carré, which our computerized looms can connect to and weave from, which is so cool. Hello again, I just finished up in class and me and all my stuff are gonna head home now. Overall, today was a really good day. I feel like I got a lot of things done, which feels pretty cool. And I'm pretty much just gonna spend the weekend chipping away at these projects and hopefully getting some rest. And since this week was such a short week just because of the Labor Day holiday and me not having class tomorrow, I think I'm just gonna continue this vlog into next week. So I'll see you Monday. On Friday, Ryan and I took a break from working and took a sunset walk along Riverside Park. On Saturday, I spent pretty much the whole day playing around with those neon paints and black paper, and I made some things that were still ugly and some things that I actually liked. Good morning, happy Monday. I pretty much spent the whole weekend just working on school stuff and trying to take it easy as much as I could, and yeah, now I'm heading to campus, so let's go. Over the weekend, I designed two fancy twills that go along with my bioluminescence theme. And I started playing around with some yarns that I brought from home that I thought would be perfect for my project. Then we finally had the chance to give the looms a try with some basic plain weave. In my next class, which is my art history class, we visited FIT's special collections and college archives. This is an on-campus library that houses primary research materials, and we got to see examples of the textile-related resources that can be found here.
part of my art history class and overall that was a really fun time. After going to the special collections we just did a lecture and it was all about just like ancient Rome, early history, and the textiles from that time period. So it was great. I enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm planning on going to dinner with Ryan tonight and in an effort to kill time, I'm going to do my tabletop homework. So I just have to do some more well thought out sketches for my formal table set concept. So let's do that. So right now, this is my concept for a dinner plate, salad plate, bread and butter plate, which will all stack together, and then a matching cup and saucer. And now I have to take this idea and make a two scale sketch using these plate templates. Yay. <laughs> So this is essentially how the plates are going to stack. It goes dinner plate and then salad plate on top and you see they kind of stack nicely because the dinner plate is wider than the salad plate and then the bread and butter plate goes on top of that. So it goes littlest plate to biggest plate. These are just super rough sketches for now, so odds are tomorrow I'm gonna get some teacher feedback and have to do quite a bit of work on them, but it's something. That's all that matters right now. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go meet Ryan for Korean fried chicken, and it's our first one of the semester, so I'm pretty excited. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I have to be a little more quiet because Ryan's asleep and I'm filming in my apartment because I just got a package that I'm really excited about for school today. So I'm gonna open it with you. <laughs> of that like reflective safety yarn that I showed you last week. And I'm gonna include this in my weaving project, which I am so excited about. So here's the information about the yarn and here's what it looks like normally. And here's what it looks like with the flash on, which I think is just amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna head to campus. I brought with me all of the paintings that I made over the weekend using the black paper and the neon paints, and I spent the first part of class scanning them into the computer. I then decided to play around with some of the motifs. These semicircles were made by smearing paint around with a small piece of cardboard, and I thought it would be fun to layer them together just to see what it would look like. So first, I made each motif into its own individual layer, and then I used Photoshop's pattern preview mode to create a design that repeats infinitely in every direction. colors so that this pattern would more closely resemble my color palette. I also tried to make it look like it was glowing under a black light. I think it turned out pretty cool, but it still needs a little bit of work. After class, I grabbed a slice of pizza with my friend Kelsey. And then we went to our tabletop design class. I finalized my sketches, chatted with the professor about them, and then used a light table to trace copies of my design onto some Bristol paper so I can do some more practice painting.
I forgot to record what these paintings looked like at the end of class, but you'll see them later on in the video. I also changed my mood board quite a bit to better reflect the direction I was heading in. After class, I spent the evening trying to weave a sample of my first fancy twill design. I decided to ditch my beige warp and go on this navy blue because it definitely goes a bit better with my color palette. I first started with this twill design because I thought I might go easy on myself with a mostly solid colored weave for my first try on this loom. And I used both my new reflective yarn and the deep blue Noro yarn that I got in San Diego during my internship. Since this is my first time ever actually weaving on this kind of loom, I took things really slowly and carefully, and I learned really quickly that this is a super sensitive machine and a whole lot of things can go very wrong. I got about this far into my sample before I realized that something just wasn't working out. The 23rd harness wasn't firing properly for some reason, so I had these super long warp floats in the back of my fabric that started appearing. I didn't know what to do, so I shut everything down, emailed my professor for help, and then just called it a night. Hello again, it's like eight o'clock and I'm finally heading home. I am pretty bummed about the whole weaving situation. I'm really glad that I got a chance to actually like go on the loom and give it a try, but I really wish I could have like woven more and actually explored it a little bit before I had all those issues, so <laughs> I'm hoping that gets resolved so that I can weave soon. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my day today, so I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I am heading to campus super early today. I only have my tabletop class at 2 p.m., but I'm going early just so I can get stuff done. So I'm gonna find a classroom to park in, get set up, and then yeah, just hang out all morning and hopefully accomplish some stuff. So let's go. So part of what I spent class yesterday working on is this ugly mess and that's just like me testing out paints, testing out colors, trying to figure out what technique works and I don't really know if I found anything that I'm super happy with yet so I'm just going to spend this morning trying to just add to that and see if I can come up with something I'm actually happy with. This is my main like statement dinner plate of the collection and this is my master copy so I traced it twice on just like the back of that painted paper and then I also traced a bunch of the components just so I could practice a whole bunch and hopefully make something that looks good. So yeah, let's get painting. Okay, which color do you think works better? I'm not set on the painting style, so ignore that part for now, but what do you like more? The magenta on the left, or the rose color on the right? I also created a third version just for fun that had some bright pops of color. I honestly don't know what works and what doesn't, so I could really use some feedback. Feel free to leave a comment. Hello again, I just got on my tabletop class and I'm on my way home now. I. Honestly, really want to take it easy tonight. I have to do some CAD homework. I'm gonna get that done and then I'm gonna go straight to bed. So I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, happy Thursday. I am really, really tired this morning. I have a super full day ahead of me. So I gotta drink some coffee soon and get to it. So I have CAD first, a little bit of a break and then weaving, so. Yeah, let's go. In CAD, I continued to refine that pattern that I started on the other day. I decided that I was gonna turn it upside down so that it would look more like fish scales or bird feathers which run in a head to toe direction. And I think that better ties this into my biological theme. I also made some stampings on black paper using bubble wrap that I covered in paint. And I decided to put that into repeat just to see if it was worthwhile. I'm not really sure if it is just yet. Maybe it would be better for like a background or something. I don't really know. I'm gonna keep playing around with this though. After class, I went to my locker to get my weaving supplies and then I headed to my weaving class. Someone else got to the blue warp before me so I spent the first part of this class working on the sketchbook component of this project. I just took all of my favorite paintings from the weekend and I glued them into my black sketchbook.
Around 5.30 p.m., I finally got on the loom. And then I spent literally the next six hours struggling. Like, really struggling. Absolutely nothing was working how I needed it to, and I was on the phone with my professor trying to get help, and I have honestly not been more frustrated in a very, very long time. By the time 9 p.m. rolled around, I had literally nothing to show for my efforts because I had to tear out every single failed sample since we're sharing the warps and I can't just use all of it up. My two friends were also there on their own looms and we struggled together. Around 10.30 p.m., we realized that we totally forgot to eat dinner, so we grabbed a meal from the vending machine. Eventually, I finally got things to work well enough to weave my sample. I don't want to say that the struggle was worth it because six whole hours of stress is just too much, but I really do like how this sample turned out. I love this deep blue yarn from San Diego, and I think that the little pops of the reflective yarn really added something special to this weave. Around 11.30 p.m., I finally left campus and headed home, and Ryan very kindly met me at the station and we walked home together. To kick off the weekend, Ryan surprised me with my favorite breakfast ever, a bacon, egg, and cheese on a toasted everything bagel with a hot coffee. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for tagging along on my textile school adventures. If you'd like to see how all my projects turn out, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!